Now, I don't know if you remember this, but one of the biggest reactions we've ever seen to a news story, it happened a couple of years ago, it was when Renault first unveiled its Renault 5 concept. Now, it was pretty much universally loved by everyone that set eyes on it. How could you not love it? It was cute, retro, fun. It was all the things that I really adore about driving electric. But there was one thing that stopped it from being the ultimate dream car, and that was the performance. Well, I have found the solution. Ta-da! The Alpine A290 Beta. How epic is that? Cannot wait to show you around. I've come all the way to Paris to give you the first glance. But before I do, could you do me a favor? Subscribe to our channel. I've come to Paris. If you just have to click that button, it's kind of equal, yeah? In case you're not aware, Alpine is Renault's sporting sub-brand. You might know the name from Formula One, and you might be familiar with the rather lovely A110 road car. The good news for us is that the Alpine brand is going fully electric. Two years ago, bosses told us that they were developing a 100% electric dream garage. A hot hatch, SUV, and a coupe were all part of the big plan, they said. So this is part one of the grand plan, the Alpine 290 Beta. Now, yeah, okay, this is a show car. Um, it's essentially a sportier reworking of that Renault 5 concept that we saw back in 2021. Um, the good thing is that 85% of this mega exterior is gonna remain true for the road car. Um, the interior, which, well, <laughs> The interior really does take it to a whole new level. And actually, there is limited amount that is going to transfer to the road car, but in a moment you will see why. But let's take in this exterior first. Now, you don't need me to tell you that this is a really mad looking thing. There are loads of elements that have been inspired by Alpine's racing and rallying heritage. These X's on the headlight hark back to the days when Alpine mechanics would tape across the lenses to prevent broken glass landing on the track. These lovely vertical rear lighting strips are borrowed from the Alpine A470 endurance racing car, and if you'd forgotten who was driving Alpine's Formula 1 cars this season, well, the concept car has a little reminder for you. And can we just have a moment to admire these wheels? If they don't make production, I'm going to be very disappointed. Under this rather unique bodywork is a set of underpinnings, known as the CMFB EV platform, basically the foundations that will sit underneath the reborn Renault 5, a new Renault 4, and the all-electric Nissan Micra. To help Renault and Alpine make the A290 as affordable as possible, about 70% of the new platform is shared with the brand's combustion engine cars such as the Clio and Nissan Duke. By sharing large parts of the structure with high volume cars, Renault reckons that production costs are reduced by up to 30% over the Zoe. Very clever thinking. Now, Alpine is being pretty coy about what size battery powers the A290 concept, but we're expecting the production version to come with a 52 kilowatt hour pack and a load of clever tech that should make it lighter and sportier to drive than other cars in its category. The pack is divided into four modules that have greater energy density than the existing designs. That makes it around 15 kilos lighter than the pack fitted to the Zoe. This concept is a one-off, built for track use only, and comes with not one, but two electric motors under the bonnet. So don't get too excited, because the production version is going to only have one, with an expected output of around 215 horsepower. It'll drive the front wheels as it does in the Megane, so if you're looking for a spiritual successor to the mid-engined Renault 5 Turbo, then I'm afraid you're going to be disappointed. Still, I reckon 215 horsepower, that's going to be plenty enough for both. Where to start? I have no words. This is mega. When they said, come down, we're launching a car, it'll be fun. I was not expecting I would be sitting in basically the cockpit of some crazy race car um, is absolutely mega. So we've got a proper roll cage up here. This is a certified, an FIA certified car. So it could technically be driven on a racetrack in a race. Um, clearly not much of this is going to transfer to the road car. However, 
let's take a look around at how many nods to the racetrack there are. Um, we've got this little button here, OV, the overtake button. That is the one bit of kit that we will see on the roadcast. I'm excited about that one. You'll get a little extra burst of energy. I've been told I can't touch the steering wheel, so I'm not gonna touch the steering wheel, as tempting as it is. But check up here at the top of the cockpit, you've got different buttons for each of the um, things like indicator, rain lights, warning lights, headlights, DLR, stop. There's even number nine, where's number nine? Uh, oh, that's number nine. That would make sense. That is your very own extinguisher. <laughs> Hopefully we won't need to use that. Um, look at it. Just this centre cockpit is amazing. You've got space for two mates either side. The way that it's all been designed, like the lighting and the, sort of the sweeping edges curve right in to, again, really make this centre driving position more pronounced. It's just bonkers and i want to drive it we're also expecting the alpine to be a great car to drive no official figure on weight yet but we do know there are a couple of features that should make it a really fun package the first is a wider track the distance between the front wheels in order to fit the larger motor alpine has had to push the wheels a little further out a wider track means the car rolls less in corners and feels more connected to the roads and at the back, Alpine and Renault have installed a multi-link suspension system. Usually, super minis and city cars get a really basic beam axle, which are much cheaper to make. These are fine, millions of cars have them, but they don't really deliver a particularly perky driving experience. So, as you can probably gather, I have high hopes that this is going to be a belter when we get to drive it later in the year. So there we have it, the all-new Alpine A290 Beta. The production version of this concept is coming to a dealer near you from next year, and we're hoping to get our first proper drive later in the year. I can't wait.